Hi, welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to have a look at the, just a really quick look actually of how to rent a scooter in Taiwan. So get a license. It's the first thing. You have to have a license. Download the app. So there are a few out there. So that you've got Wemo, you've got iRent, you've got uh, GoShare, um, to name a few. There might be others. I can't think of the top of my head. So anyway, you've downloaded the app, you put all your information in, you put your card details in, your driving license number and everything. So the next step is to find a scooter. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Hang on. So we're going to start with opening the app. So I'm going to start with Wemo, um, quite an easy one. So we'll locate a Wemo. Oh, there we go. So happens there's one right near us. Let me just zoom in. Somewhere here is a Wemo. Uh -huh. So we're going to find the Wemo right next to me. Here it is. Okay, so now we're going to press reserve. So we've located the Wemo, we can see it. If you really want to, we can put the little flash the lights. That's our one, and the lights will flash on the and our little Wemo, so it says, hey, this is the one you want. It's great in the dark, you can't find it. There's a little button where you see the time. The time's going down 9, 25, 24. Just to the right is a little, little, little button there, looks like a light. So press that and the lights will flash. Okay, so I'm at the, you can't see this, but I'm at the scooter now, so I'm gonna press rent. It's going to come up with some tips, a little bit of information. Press rent, that's what I want to do. So we're going to put the power on. Quick, push the button. Now, we're going to want to lift the seat up. This, the helmets are located underneath the seat. So that's what we want. So we put the put our helmet on. There's two to choose from. There's the tiny little one that just covers your, covers your head. Or there's the, uh, the one that comes down, the three quarter, covers your, covers your ears. Okay, so now all we have to do is hold the left hand brake in, and press the little P button, which is on the right hand side near the throttle. So I will show you that. We're going to hold on to the left hand brake and just here, down there, we're going to press this as well at the same time. And that will then start up the bike. And you're ready to ride and ride safe. I'll see you at the other end and uh, we'll show you how to return the scooter so we've just finished the uh our ride so now what we want to do we want to open the seat so we press the button make sure you take off all the helmets if you use one or two put it back in make sure there's no other belongings in your seat Close that up, then we're going to press return. No 
play vouchers, so it doesn't matter. It does take a little time, just checking everything. There we go. So let's take a photo. So this is, I always find this important. It gives you a little scooter and you just license plate, match it up. There you go. Take your picture. Press the little check button, the little tick. And there we have it. Gives you all your information the Remo was a Remo candy rented distance 6.6 .6 kilometers time 19 minutes I've got some points gives you registration number um, battery swap reward they don't offer battery swaps on a Remo you can on the go share so that's uh, pretty much as I said earlier they are very similar in the applications how to use them so uh, yeah I recommend if you're having a short trip and you're going to be a little while, don't take your own out. Take a little uh, Wemo, take a GoShare, I rent as well. So there are other options out there. Um, just find which one's more comfortable for you. Use all three apps and see which one's the nearest, which one has the fullest battery. So uh, hope that was good for you. Enjoy and uh, safe travels. Ride safe. So I hope the uh, video there was informative for you. It's so easy to, uh, to rent the scooters in Taiwan. I like to use the Wemo because the helmets don't smell. And it's convenient. I rent, I find it very hard. I can't get onto the app. And I've heard so many locals and foreigners, they can't use the iRent app as well. So uh, what are you? What do you prefer? Which one do you actually ride as well? So let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.